and I thank you highly. Now, what I want to minister today is this. Now, what you don't understand is this: spiritual dimensions is having the ability to to is having the ability to to be separated from others. Now, watch this. Now, watch this. We find in the Bible just the other day in the Bible, Second Kings. We find there's a man called Elisha. Now, we find in the Bible people are sending men to come and kill Elisha. Now, Elisha is not feared, no, but it's his servant that says, "Master, what can we do now? For they have come to kill us all." But Elisha says this, fear not. Oh. Watch this. He says, fear not. Why? Why does he say fear not? Fear not because he knows what he carries. He said, fear not simply because. He said, fear not because they that are with us are greater than those that are with them. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I don't, I, I, I don't feel like you're getting me now. Watch this. Watch this. The servant is still kind of afraid. And Elisha says, Lord, open the eyes of this young man that he may see. Yeah. He said, open the eyes of the young man that he may see. And the Bible writes, his eyes were open. And when his eyes were open, he saw chariots around Elisha, not around him. Please, can you come on, come on. Please, come on, come on, come on. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. They're in the place understanding like this. He's, Elisha is here. The servant is here. And now the servant is here. And now the servant says, Master, what can we do? They have come to kill us all. And now that they've come to kill us all, the servant says this, fear not. And he says, open the eyes of this young man. And now they are close like this. Remember this, they are close like this. And now the Bible says they are close like this. Then Elisha prays. And says, open the eyes of this young man that he may see. And the Bible states that when the eyes of the young, uh, the servant, that were open when his eyes were open he saw chariots around Elisha not around him watch this watch this watch this watch this watch this watch this oh, I don't feel like you're getting me in this room watch this watch this the char- they were close like this where can chariots fit then you understand the problem in Christianity is this people see the man of God they speak with the man of God and now they talk with the man of God and now when they talk with the man of God they think he's my friend he's my brother I- Prophet Angel works Prophet Angel works in service. He smiles at you. Now you say, ah, he's you bet. Watch this. Watch this. The issue then occurs in this. That although he smiles at you, ah, although he eats with you, ah, although he talks with you, there is a distance in the spirit. Oh, I don't feel like you're getting me now. Watch this. Watch this. The issue then occurs here. Why couldn't the servant see it in the first place that there's a distance? This is something because something that God told the man of God and he won't tell you anywhere else. It's because of this. It's because of something called spiritual reality distortion field. Watch this. Spiritual reality distortion field. Are you listening? It's a case of where you cannot see the gap that is in between. So the reason why the servant couldn't see the gap between him and the man of God is because spiritual reality distortion field. Thank you. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Dimensions are different to levels. Okay. Now, my message is on spiritual dimensions. Now, dimensions are different to levels. Levels you can tap into on your own. I've reached many levels on my own. But a dimension, the door is not on the out, the key of the door is not on the outside, but it's on the inside. Okay. So, for you to enter a dimension, somebody needs to invite you now. Because okay. of this encounter, okay. I'm inviting you to the dimension. Okay. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, watch this. The dimension, the door of to enter the dimension is on the inside. It's so locked that God expects you to knock. Yeah. Now watch this, watch this. Many of you guys are sitting in levels. We're trying to get you into dimensions. I invite you to the dimension. Hey. Watch this, watch this. The God that I serve is inviting you into the dimension. We are bringing you into the dimension. From this encounter, you shall enter the dimension. Ah, the God that I serve is bringing you in. Ah, there's many names for him, but one name is Jehovah Chuva. Jehovah Funukanu. Jehovah El Giboa. Jehovah Sabaoth. Jehovah Elohim Azar. Jehovah El Fafata. Jehovah Chikopokopo. Ah, some let some let to call him Jehovah Hakavod. Some let to call him Jehovah Rofika. Some let to call him Jehovah El Fafata. But as for me, I just claim to have Eric Apayim. Have you ever told me? I'm telling you. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. One was representing London. One was representing London. One was representing this. One was representing this. Listen. Listen. Everybody. Everybody spoke their talk yesterday. But it's only I that is backing it up. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. From this day, you are entering a dimension. This dimension you are entering now. 
is different to your small boy level now. This dimension we see in the spirit. We hear in the spirit. Uh, we are set differently from other people. The reason why you are still in that small level you are in is because of this. You are in the same situation that the servant was in. But from today. I said from today. If there be a man of God in this anointing, in this atmosphere, if there is a man who prophet you be an angel, then you are entering the dimension in the name of Jesus. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I want to leave you on this note because I'm running out of time. I want to leave you with this. His name is Jehovah Chuva. His name is Jehovah Elohim. Why? Because he was alone. His name is Jehovah Nisi because he's my banner. His name is Jehovah Jireh because he gives me my miracle. Listen, his name is Jehovah Adonai because he created it all. He created me. He created everybody here. And he's creating your grace. He's creating your breakthrough. From this day, I decree and declare, you are entering a level where nobody can break you in the name of Jesus. Listen, I only had seven minutes or five minutes. My name is Gideon Bass. Thank you all for listening. Thank you.